MIT had its lowest acceptance rate at 4.7%, admitting just 697 students out of over 14,000 applicants, which means that the competition is at its peak right now. And today I'm going to tell you guys a secret that can very well be the reason why you get into MIT. Let's get started. The number one university in the world, MIT, is famous for its programs in engineering and physical sciences and it's by far the world's most renowned institute for higher learning and is known for its rigorous curriculum, excellent research and outstanding faculty. Nonetheless, coming back to the big question, how do you actually tackle MIT's competitive application and what can you do to actually stand out from the crowd? This is where MIT's maker portfolio comes in and this is the small supplemental optional part of the college application that most applicants just, you know, don't even bother to go through because it's optional. Now, MIT gives high school students the opportunity to showcase their projects, research experience, and their entire skill set in the form of a maker portfolio. These projects can be related to literally anything from science to engineering to music to art. Now, a lot of these maker portfolios that have been accepted were, you know, some video games that students made or even like a rocket launcher. It can literally be anything as long as it shows what you're area of interest is and what you've done to build your skill set around that. So I did my homework for this video and I found a ton of MIT's maker portfolio submissions by students and their outstanding projects. So I want to give them some recognition. So let's take a look at some of the actual projects that have been submitted into MIT's maker portfolio. Hey, this is Aaron and welcome to my maker portfolio. Hi, I'm David Ray and this is my maker portfolio. I'm Jake and I've been working on something that I think is pretty cool for about a year. Hi. I'm Patrick Gupta and this is my makeup portfolio. Hi, my name is Subtarshi and I'm a maker. For the last month and a half, I've been hard at work on one of my favorite projects yet, an active stability system for model rockets that I call Zenith. I created Cuddle Gel, a sustainable, cost-effective and DIY water purifier. Cuddle in Sanskrit means banana and gel means water. I've made games such as Snake, Brick Breaker and Knots and Crosses. CamFriend is a Flutter app that I developed and released to the App Store and Play Store that automatically solves and balances chemical equations. Now I know that, you know, starting off with something like the maker portfolio, especially in countries like India can be a big task because, you know, honestly, as a high school student, I wouldn't know where to start and what to do. But it can be as simple as first trying to think of an idea that you can work on. Start to learn how to read research papers, research, research publications. Approach a few of the teachers that teach some of the subjects that you're interested in, whether it's physics, math, biology, chemistry, whatever it is. Maybe they can give you some insight and direction. I know a lot of students are currently looking to find that skill set and this is where I'd like to introduce you guys to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. Now there are a variety of classes on Skillshare but the one that I particularly found interesting for you guys today is how to read an academic journal article by Lyndon Walker that talks about where to access these articles and how to kind of sort through them, how to go through and read the research papers. The second class I would recommend high school students or even college students take is Introduction to Arduino by Mark. This is basically like an electronic component that has a ton of computing capabilities. So anything that you're looking to automate can be done with the help of Arduino. It combines a little bit of electrical engineering, electronics, as well as some coding. So having a fundamental knowledge on all three of these platforms can never go wrong. I personally use this even as a biomedical engineer in my master's degree. The first 1,000 people to use the link or my code Crazy Medusa will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely check that out. But the one big resource that I have for you guys is that if you're kind of at that point where you have that idea and you're stuck with what the next steps are, you can check out Incognito Labs at incognitoblueprints.com where every single student who submits their project idea gets a ton of free resources to help you understand what goes into moving an idea forward in terms of research discovery, a business proposal, a pitch, um, a business plan, all of that sort. And some of the projects even get funded. So definitely check that out. Now, MIT states that the maker portfolio is completely an optional 
set that is attached to the college application. It's part of the supplemental information, so which shows that, you know, uh, half of you guys are probably not going to fill that out because it's optional. I know I've done that, but if you actually go ahead and do decide to kind of participate in this whole optional section, it gives you that additional edge to stand out from the crowd because you're already cutting your competition in half just by submitting and actually participating in this process. It's just my personal recommendation. If you guys are in a position where you're in your high school, you have some time to spare and you're thinking about, you know, studying abroad, you've made up your mind and you have that time, definitely take some time out to develop on skills and build on this maker portfolio. A huge shout out to all of the wonderful students um, whose projects that we viewed in this video. And that's pretty much all that I had for this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.